How's it going out there today, guys? So this is going to be my review for the 1441 gear uh, Schultz clip holster for the PO7 Urban Gray Edition. Um, man, I got this gun probably a month. I think it was about a month ago, month month or two ago, and I. Uh, was super excited to get this thing. This is just an awesome gun, and uh, I wanted to use it as my carry gun right away. And then I started looking to the holster options, and uh, there were not nearly as many holster options for the Urban Gray as there are for a standard PO7, obviously, because it's got the raised suppressor sights and the threaded barrel. But uh, I looked around online, uh, ran across a couple, and... Ended up ultimately uh, settling for this uh, 1441 gear holster. Like I said, this is the Schultz clip holster. Uh, let's take a look at it. Um, I had contacted several custom uh, Kydex makers and stuff like that, and it just they I ended up basically uh, they just didn't have the mold or couldn't locate the mold. Uh, to make this make the holster for me, uh, but 1441 gear, I checked them out. Uh, some of the guys I watch on YouTube have reviewed these holsters, like a 1776 or Bust, um, Big Johnson guns in the gear, and I think uh, Coda Boy 32 has also uh, done a review on these holsters. So I figured if those you know if those guys uh, liked them, I'd definitely check one out and give it a shot. Uh, I think. I paid $55 for this holster. It was normally $65 with the extra for the threaded barrel and raised sights. Um, but they'd had a $10 off coupon. I think that's still going on right now, or $10 off promo code. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is a great looking holster. Uh, I got the, this is the gray carbon fiber pattern which is a uh, really nice looking all the edges are nice and cleaned up i really haven't found any s sharp edges on this thing i've been wearing this thing for the past uh, week and a half it did they do have a kind of a long lead time um i think it took them about three weeks to from the time i ordered this holster for them to get it shipped out to me and once they shipped it i mean they, they shipped it really fast um I think I got it within two days of them shipping it, but they are a small company and, you know, so their lead time varies uh, depending how busy they are. But I've been wearing this thing for the past uh, week, week and a half, and it's awesome, man. It's a, it's, a, it's a great holster. It does what you need it to do. It stays. This clip, the Schultz clip uh, holds it in place just like you would want it to. Um, it's very comfortable for a Kydex holster. Um, I really don't have any complaints about it. Uh, really, the only issues that I've run into while carrying it was due to the the gun itself, which is just, you know, with like these extended mags, uh, you've got a little bit more possibility to print uh, through your shirt and stuff like that. But I do have a couple little gripes with this holster. Um, and I'd like to go ahead and say off the bat that none of these affect function. They're just uh, my little nitpicking things. Uh, number one on the list is the fact that the picture that they showed for the PO7 Urban Gray holster was a closed-end holster. As you can see, even though I have a compensator on there, uh, if I had the thread protector on there, it would uh, still stick out a little bit. And that was... Kind of disappointing to me for the simple fact that uh, that's really what I was searching for and that's what was pictured and I thought you know that this sticking out here may give me some issues which it doesn't it's perfectly comfortable and I, I haven't run into any issues with a uh, with it sticking out of the end as far as comfort or anything like that but it's just a little uh just a little like I said disappointing to me because I wanted one that fully enclosed the threaded barrel. Um, another small gripe I have with this holster is that when you put it in, and I'll let you listen, there's no, not really any audible click um, 
on most of my Kydex holsters, I really like the fact that they have that audible click to let you know that it's uh, locked in place. This one really doesn't have that, and it doesn't have the, that feeling of it uh, locking in place. But it is locked in place, and it's not going anywhere. I mean, it's, it's really in there. Um, and when I got this holster, it was super tight. I mean, I've, it has these adjustment screws here, obviously, to adjust your tension. And I backed them out to the point where they were almost falling out, and it was still really tight. To the point that when I was drawing the gun, I would actually get uh, little flakes of plastic on my slide and everything. Now, it never scratched my slide or anything like that, but... Uh, it was really, really tight. And uh, here's a tip for you guys, if you don't know, an easy way to fix that, because I've had that happen on other holsters as well, is uh, if you just leave your holster, your gun in your holster, in your car on a hot day for about eight hours, when you come back out, it'll be uh, nice, nice and uh, loosened up for you, and then you can adjust the tension screws a little bit. And that's what I did with this one. And uh, as you can see, it fits fine now no issues going in and out of the holster just like i said it doesn't have that audible click uh, another little nitpick is uh on the inside here we'll see if I, if you can see it um it does there are where they mounted the schultz clip there's it's kind of a scratched up and just not really neat and tidy looking in there uh but it doesn't affect function, like I said. It doesn't scratch. There's, you know, the screws aren't scratching the gun when you take it in and out or anything like that. It's just a little, uh, just a little nitpicky thing. But uh, yeah, let me, let me show you uh, some footage of me wearing this thing. Let's check it out. All right, guys, and there it is. That's my review of the uh, P07 Urban Gray holster from 1441 Gear. Again, this is the Schultz clip. Uh, they offer it in a lot of, you know, different colors and styles. And uh, great little holster. I wasn't overwhelmingly impressed with it, but it does function great, guys. So I would definitely recommend it. Guys, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll check you out next time. Later.